Here we go again, addressing the continued policy failures of this administration at the border. And as our border descends further into chaos, I can't help but worry that this nation is becoming increasingly comfortable, comfortable with accepting weakness, not accepting the rule of law, and accepting it all as our new normal. An acceptance of weakness that led to the highest number of border encounters in a single day ever. And by the way, there was a comment from somebody from the other side, and they said that, you know, Republicans enjoy this because they can use it as political fodder. Let's be clear. The Democrats were in control for two years. They had the presidency, they had the Senate, they had the House of Representatives. They could have done anything. They could have made this better. They could have straightened it out. It wasn't a split. But they didn't. That's the reality. So let's talk about what's really true, and that's not just talk, political talk, that doesn't make sense. An acceptance of weakness has turned every town in America from El Paso, Texas, to Orange County, California, and in, in, sorry, New York, into a de facto border town. An acceptance of weakness that has turned public parks, police stations, and school gymnasiums into makeshift shelters. Tell me that's good for America. Anybody sitting out there right now, you tell me that that's good for our America. An acceptance of weakness that led to the tragic case of Kayla Hamilton, where an MS-13 gang member was allowed into our country as a supposed, quote, unaccompanied minor, end quote, despite a history of criminal activity and of violence. Tell me that's good for our America. If you have strong borders, if you don't have strong borders, excuse me, you are not a strong nation. Every country in the world basically has strong borders. Third world countries have stronger borders than we do right now. If this administration cannot protect its citizens, they are not worthy of the authority Americans have trusted them with. And personally, I do not think that Secretary Mayorkas is worthy, and I do not think our president is. If you continue to accept the weakness we are witnessing, you are surrendering the very foundations of our democracy, the disregard for our laws. We're not a nation of the rule of law anymore. Think about the premise in which we argue, discuss, and debate this. It's against the law to illegally enter the country. It's against the law. You've broken the law. I don't understand why the law doesn't matter anymore. Are we a nation of laws or are we not? That's the important question here. It's gotten so out of hand that our Secretary Mayorkas is celebrating, actually celebrating 6,300 illegal encounters as a good day. That's a good day. Think about that. President Obama's Homeland Security Secretary once claimed that 1,000 encounters a day would be a crisis but now 6,300 is a good day. Today it's a triumph. This is the acceptance of weakness consuming our nation and it threatens the safety and well-being of each and every American and we should not tolerate it and we should change it. You can be a humane and good country but still believe in the rule of law. And I wonder, I wonder how Kayla's family feels about it all. I wonder if she thinks this is good. I have three quick questions for Chief Scott. With the number of crossings our country is experiencing, can Border Patrol properly debrief and access the information and intentions of every migrant trying to come across our border? Yes or no? No. Thank you. Do you believe it is easy for a terrorist to get into the United States undetected today than five years ago? Yes or no? It definitely is. Thank you. As thousands of illegal migrants are accepted into our country every day, are there, there are less obvious threats to Americans that we aren't noticing yet, or are we looking into them enough? The question is, are we looking into these threats enough, yes or no? 
No, the Border Patrol barely has time to process who's in custody. They're leaving hundreds of miles of border unpatrolled every day. No. Exactly. This is, and, and thank you, sir. Thank you for your work. This is a joke. Let's really talk about the real issue. It's the rule of law. It's the safety of our people. We're breaking the law, and we're becoming weaker, and we've got to stop it. Thank you, Chairman. I yield back. Chairman yields.